the, the thing is, when you read about how Jesus was healing people, he never asked permission from his father, if it be his will, should I do this? Jesus took his authority and commanded illness to go, right? In every form of illness you could imagine. And, um, and, and so we have that same authority. You know, there was a, there, there, there was an example in the book of Acts where, um, Acts, which is the book of actions. So when you're taking your faith and putting it into action, right? That is working out what you have stored inside of you, a gift of the Lord. There was a crippled man. He couldn't walk. And, um, it says it was this way for him since birth. So he um, had this for all of his life. He didn't know what walking was like, like all of us do. He didn't know what that felt like. But, you know, he figured out since he was going through this all of his life, the only way he could make a living was to beg people for money. And so he sat. They, he was actually placed by the temple um, where people went to worship and pr and pray and such. And uh, here's what's amazing about that account is this man, so he sits in front of the temple ho hoping, you know, that people would f would ha have a, a giving spirit in them, right? The spirit of giving or, or um, the uh, heart for giving. And so giving alms is what this man was asking for, which is uh, for money and, you know, food and such like that. So he sees Peter and John coming in his direction. And it says that Peter and John were heading to the temple to go pray. Okay. So Peter and John didn't even begin praying yet. They were headed to the temple to pray. And, um, and this man, you know, he asks for alms charity, which is, you know, could you give me some money, please? You have any change to spare? And Peter says, look at us. And Peter says, I don't have silver or gold. I don't have money, but what I do have, I give to you. Oh, this is so amazing, you guys. What Peter has in him, he can give to this guy. Peter said it confidently, not because Peter has the best behavior and he does everything right all the time. I mean, this is a Peter that denied Christ, but this is also a newborn Peter that has the Spirit of Christ in him. But even as a newborn Peter, Peter messed up. Paul had to call Peter out, you know, because Peter was like hypocritically going and eating with only Jews and not including the Gentiles because he was afraid of how the Jews would look at him if he went and sat with the Gentiles. And Paul called him out on it. This is a saved Peter. Peter with Christ in him. So you know what? Peter didn't say, well, you know, wait a minute, you know, I'm a failure and, um, you know, uh, God might not be with me today because I, I always blow it. And so who am I to, in the authority of Jesus Christ, tell this man to rise and walk again? No. See, Peter, Peter didn't rely on his behavior, his good versus his bad. Did his good outweigh the bad? Will the spirit of God flow through him today? Did he read enough Bible? Did he even pray yet? Uh-oh, I didn't even pray yet. I didn't even pray yet, but here's this man. Why doesn't this man just let me go? Okay, listen, crippled guy. I'm going to go in the temple and pray first. I'm going to beg for God's permission. I'm going to find out if it's his will that you be healed or not. That is how religious people are today. They're religious because they were taught to be religious. And it just, it, all religion is, is a bunch of confusion, which is the word Babylon in, 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 in Hebrew and Greek. It's a place of confusion, right? And if it's great confusion, it's called Babylon the Great. And religion is great confusion. So you got to get out of that religious mindset. And no matter what, if you got Christ in you, not because of your good behavior, but because of his grace and you received him by grace because you put your faith in that grace, you put your faith in grace knowing that, you know, there's nothing I did to get saved. There's nothing I did to get Christ in me. It's a gift by his grace. Peter had to rely on God's grace. So Peter says to that man, I don't have money but I got something else and I have the authority. I have the ability. I have the right to give it to you. 
because Jesus gave it to me. And he tells the man to get up and walk and he grabs him by the hand and pulls him up and the guy was healed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 